hello and welcome once again so in this video we are going to continue our discussion about random number generation in um, numpy and in the previous video we saw how we can generate random numbers that are from the normal distribution or normally distributed random numbers and um, we also learned how you can customize the mean around which you want your data set to be clustered and then the standard deviation that is going to be the magnitude by which um, these different these values differ from each other okay so in this video i'm going to talk about um, how to generate uniformly distributed random numbers so this is normally distributed random numbers or random numbers from the normal distribution and what we are going to talk about now is random numbers from a uniform distribution and a uniform distribution is very simple to understand so if you sample numbers randomly from a uniform distribution what it means is that every number in the range that you specify has equal likelihood of showing up for example if i generate um um uniformly distributed random numbers between the range of 0 and 10 what it means is that 0 has 1 over 10 probability of showing up 1 has the same 2 has the same 3 all the way to 10 so every value within the range you specify has equal probability of showing up that is as simple as it can get so let's see an example so i say values is equal to mp.random. As you guess uniform okay and over here too I'm going to explicitly specify the size is equal to 200 and then I'll show you what other parameters you can pass okay so let's go ahead and then plot a histogram of our values and let's see how it is different from the normal distribution so you can see that in the normal distribution all the values clustered around some mean and they were different from each other um, in magnitudes of the standard deviation. But over here, you can see that almost every value is equally likely to show up. If, if you look at this histogram down here, what it means is that um, the number 0, or I don't know, 0 point something, appeared almost um, 13 times, and then 0 0.2, almost 20. Like, if you look at this graph, you can see that the frequencies are not too far apart from each other okay and this is this is, this might not be too clear because let, um, the values are just 200 let's make it a lot more and then you can see uh -huh. so now I, I i generated 2000 random numbers and as you can see numpy is very fast to generate these random numbers in a split second and you can see that the frequency for each of the numbers in here is is almost the same like every number has equal chance of showing up okay now th it is important to know um, the difference between uniform distribution and um, random distribution especially when it comes to initialization of parameters I mean weight and biases in your neural network because um, for some architectures how you initialize the weight might affect um, convergence i know these are things we've not spoken of yet but trust me i'm showing you all these fundamentals so that once we start working on neural networks you have a um, strong understanding and then and then you will you will really get to know what you are doing instead of just using libraries to um, put architectures together so that is just by the way but this is how you generate uniform um random numbers that are uniformly distributed and the takeaway here is in a uniform distribution every number has equal likelihood of showing up let's see how we can um, see the other parameters that the uniform distribution takes so i i just google random dot num np dot random dot uniform and then i go to the numpy documentation and it tells me that i can specify the low the high and then the size so let's come in here and do a similar thing as we did for the uniform distribution i mean um, the normal distribution so i'll say my low my low is equal to zero my high is equal to 10 and then i will specify them here so my low my high okay so i'm generating um 2000 numbers randomly from the range of 0 to 10 and let's see the distribution that we got so you can see that 
for zero there were over 200 of them for two like basically what you are seeing from this graph is that all of the values in the range indeed had equal likelihood of showing up so this is the difference between the normal distribution curve and the uniform distribution curve the normal distribution curve usually looks like a bell it has a bell shape and the uniform distribution curve usually has a uniform or a shape that is close to um, something you can draw a line over and like i explained to you it is important to get the difference here because once we get to work on neural networks how you initialize your weight can have some effect on how quickly it converges for certain architectures so um, thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video